giving you a few ideas how to incorporate flaxseed oil cottage cheese mix in your diet. I added in my salad, of course, and it is delicious. And I put it in my delicious smoothie as well, too. And even in a dinner like this with this delicious soup. I will walk you all through it. I came across this protocol that it was developed by Dr. Joanna Badwick more than a decade ago. And she actually used this to treat many, many different sicknesses. As you see, I put a list here for you. You can educate yourself online as well. I am not a doctor. I, I am not any kind of affiliated um, with um, a, any kind of her websites out there that you find, but I will give you the links so you can do your homework and figure out what's what. So welcome to V's Cooking with Love channel. And let me walk you through it how I make this delicious salad even more delicious. And it really is. And I'm just not saying that this mix, when you get used to it, eating that kind of dressing on the salad, you can eat the salad with anything else on it. You can incorporate it to breakfast, just adding the fruit to the mix by itself or even to your oatmeal. And this is actually the recipe I already posted out there. I'll give you all the link on the end too and um, that way you will know what to do with that as well and you see we have a cottage cheese here and good quality flaxseed oil if you did not buy this flaxseed oil in the refrigerated portion of your department store it's not a good one um, i'm mixing it in a tall container like this because the immersion blender it mixes well and I'm using good quality cottage cheese. It has to be low fat cottage cheese. Again, I'll add the uh, Bodwick Center's website so you can read more uh, details about it, how to um, make sure you're following that protocol if you are interested in it. If your cottage cheese has ingredients that you cannot pronounce, no, that's not a cottage cheese you want to use. <laughs> And uh, it, the cottage cheese is also so good for us because it, between the vitamin D and protein, uh, it, it's really delicious too. So we are adding three tablespoons of good quality, like I said, flaxseed oil. And the ratio is two to one. So the next ingredient, of course, will be the cottage cheese. And we are adding six tablespoons of cottage cheese. It's kind of approximately. And you see the, the tall container like that, um, it, it will help you to mix things better. Um, the, if you're using something wide, it will not work. Different kind of blender will not most likely uh, mix the ingredients well as well. If you want to use a half a recipe, probably will not mix well. That's why you have to um, have enough of it there to mix like this in order to combine that cottage cheese and flaxseed oil together. Um, it is very important uh, that they are combined very well. They will have um, consistency of like a mayonnaise or so. We are blending it for about a minute, not too long because too long it's not recommended as well. Uh, as long as you don't have any oil evidence in your um, dish that you are mixing it. So you see, I, I kind of go around up and down and uh, until that consistency is there and you don't see the separated oil um, anymore. And uh, just be patient with that. And, and you see, it, it comes together quite well, quite easy. As long as you mix that much of those ingredients, they should mix very well. And you see, just to that, you can just add some fruits. Um, berries are highly recommended in the protocol. Um, add some healthy nuts as well. Make sure you, you check the list of those that they are listed um, out there. You can find that they are recommended and add some additional freshly ground flaxseed. Do not purchase grounded already flaxseed. It is not recommended. After 20 minutes, it loses its value and uh, it, it doesn't even taste right. Uh, so you see our mix, it's all combined together and it, it is um, uh, that consistency of the mayonnaise, as you can see. And uh, 
from there you can do so many different things with it if i'm using it for a salad as you can see here i will be adding about a tablespoon you can maybe add two i use almond milk because i found actually almond milk um, it has more calcium than dairy milk <laughs> and i use it in all my other cookings too so uh, you figure out um, uh, what kind of milk you want to use again if you are using regular milk uh, low fat will be the recommended one because for the salad dressing you want to make it a little bit um, uh, less thick so that's why i'm adding but i'm only adding a tablespoon for me that is enough right there because i'll show you what i do with it um, next as well and um, yeah you see these are the berries that you could be adding to it just the way it is add some honey to it for additional sweetness and honey is good for you too just make sure it's a good quality honey uh, some nuts um, that, that uh, they are recommended and of course the flaxseed um, on, on top of it um, the, the more uh, you can add it uh, the, that, that probably will help too you see I use my coffee grinder I also showed you those little flowers those were the flaxseed flowers that's how they look um, and uh, I always ground up fresh flaxseed to wherever I'm adding it to and you can even add it to your oats in the morning the fruits the, the, the um, mix that we just made with the cottage cheese and uh, you will find it to come up even more creamier and more delicious so we have our mix ready to be incorporated to, to the salad it's a little bit thinned out and uh, from here we'll be adding additional ingredients and again i use this container because there is another reason to it i'll show you why you could use all that for your salad because i'm using only a half of that cottage cheese which is recommended to eat it um, and not really store it too much either uh, but i'll walk you through all the reasons here so we have two tablespoons of flaxseed um, that i ground up in my coffee grinder and we have about a half a teaspoon of thyme leaves and margarine that i like to use in the salad dressing you can adjust those spices to whatever you would like to have and i'm using about a teaspoon or two of apple cider vinegar or lemon juice whatever you have it on hand so you see all those ingredients are really healthy too i like to add some uh, spicy brown mustard uh, you can use also ground mustard um, you know you figure out what what's gonna be the best for you and here's my salad yes there's some lettuce there and the arugula i have a carrot and cucumber i like to add some grapes onion garlic highly recommend and these are my own tomatoes they are everglades tomatoes and we have been really blessed this year with the abundance of tomatoes look at that this was just a few days of my tomato picking here actually the saran maranzano i picked them on monday so i didn't pick them on sunday and guess what i came up with that much yes and they are so good oh gosh they are so good so you see we have our salad and we'll be just piling up all those ingredients on the top because i'm using only half and i yes i could use another container to mix it but i don't want to lose additional um uh you know that that mix in another dish so i just add everything on top of that salad and believe me it will mix very well so here comes our flaxseed that was freshly ground up and we will be um, adding the mix of the cottage cheese that i use about a half that i made um, at this point from those six tablespoons of cottage cheese and i just put everything on the top and again it will mix very well anyway um, you can uh, make two salads out of this, that very easily uh, this wasn't that big of a salad so i only used half of it and uh, the remaining um, I, I found that this container has a perfect lid that I can store it with so that's why I use that container to store my um, cottage cheese uh, for later or I, may, I might add it to a smoothie and uh, make additional smoothie with, with the fruits and just add the mix to it so you see here we have the cottage cheese and I'm going to add of course my thyme and my margarine on top of it and here i use just an apple cider vinegar i kind of rotate some uh, lemon with that apple cider vinegar a little this little that and again if you had that garlic in here you really won't know it's it was there and the garlic is additional medicinal 
uh, ingredient here too. So figure out how much value of cottage cheese has. You can Google stuff out there. And the same thing with garlic. And here is the salad. You see that much cottage cheese kind of disappears. When you're adding that ground uh, flaxseed, it kind of absorbs things and it doesn't really become that much. So you see all that salad really swallowed up all that cottage cheese that I put on it. And again, once you start eating this, maybe on the beginning you might, um, uh, you know, it, it's a different taste than your salad dressing. But believe me, after two, three times, if you try to go back to your salad dressing, dressing, you're not gonna like it. This is quite delicious. It really, it doesn't taste like a medicine, I can assure you. And um, that cottage cheese mix with that flaxseed oil, that is the medicine that the Dr. Bodwick, um, you know, was, was making for her patients back then. She lived to be, I believe, uh, 94 or 95 years old. So um, here is my leftovers and I put that uh, with that container into the refrigerator. You wanna eat all that as fresh as possible. And yep, that was my salad, all gone. <laughs> try it you'll love it and I will attach the link to the hypocrite soup that we already um, made um, so uh, check that out uh, with my recipes and you see I actually like to add some fermented cucumber and some additional chopped up even cucumber if you want to I make those myself too they are not the pickled ones from the store so all that it becomes additional boost of the flavor in this soup I highly recommend some fresh dill in here and believe me it's a whole different menu and it's a whole different soup I love making that that soup is part of my diet as well almost on a daily basis and uh, Dr. Gerson is the one that developed that one uh, if you don't know it so here you have it thank you for watching I have given you a few different ideas how to use this Budwig mix and I hope you're going to try it. Let me know what you think. And yes, we'll see you next time.